Hi guys, and welcome to the Bud to Blossom podcast. We are a raw podcast right now, so no intro, no outro. It'll just be me. Um, But my name is Serena. I am an alignment specialist. I specialize in work with uh, highly sensitive people and empaths and helping them create a safe and fun life that they don't need to feel the feel the need to run away from. If you resonate with this podcast or my work and you feel called to look into how you can work with me, you can go to my website. That is www.serenawillis.com and you can see how you can work with me and how to move forward with that as well. If you feel like donating to this podcast, you can also go to my website. Um, and that is um, the donation link. Without further ado, we are going to talk today a little bit about wisdom. Um, and as this is the first episode, I'd like to say welcome, everybody. So lovely to be here, and I'm very excited to be recording this and looking forward to all the beautiful things that is going to unfold because of this. So today we're talking about wisdom. Um, Actually, interestingly enough, this was something that was brought to my attention today. I was on the phone with my significant other, and he said, you know, you have a lot of wisdom, um, maybe more than you know. And I was like, well, yes, thank you, um, is what I wish I said, because I deflected the compliment. as we usually do when we receive compliments that seem above our, um, our deserving level, our worthiness level. Um, but no, really, I didn't think much of it at the time until quite a bit later um, when I was thinking about this. And I was like, you know what? I do have wisdom, but it's only when it comes to other people. You know, like, it's not, it's not a daily basis, like, you know, that I'm sitting here with these philosophical thoughts and, you know, solving the world's problems. It's nothing like that. It's like when I get on the phone with my friends, I have a good ear for listening. I have a good way of allowing people to see, be seen and held and heard. And then I have the ability to, yes, sometimes give good advice, but it's only because the other people are there that I'm actually able to tap into what it is that they need to hear in that moment. So my wisdom is not for me. And so this brought me to the place of realizing, wow, okay, so wisdom without service is really truly pointless. So that was a pretty interesting realization to me because you think about people in the world, right? And you can have the most intelligent person in the world Um, but if nobody hears you or there's nobody there to receive that wisdom then you know I think of the the idea that um, you know falling on deaf ears you know if you have something to say and something to share in this world which I believe we truly all do have something to say and something to share in this world but it's falling on deaf ears or it's, it's not even reaching any ears, um, then really what we have to share is, is pointless. So as this is the first podcast and I'm reaching a conclusion of, you know, you really just, you need to start getting your voice out there. There's nothing more amazing than being able to share and express your Uh, perspectives because really at the end of the day when it comes down to it we all have a different perspective and nobody can really offer the world your particular perspective and that what that's what makes you such a unique expression of this world is the fact that you can offer the world you and that is your wisdom The uniqueness of you is your wisdom. It's not what you went to school for. It's not what your parents think of you. It's not who you think you even are. Like the majority of the time, we don't even really know what our wisdom really is. Um, It's other people 
that are receiving us that can tell us what our wisdom is. Um, and it's actually being open and allowing yourself to access that that creates this beautiful unfolding of what your true purpose and your true path are. So this idea that wisdom without service is pointless, you know, I think is, is really, really true. There, there is no better thing than the combination of wisdom and service. So that's it, honestly, guys. Get out there, do the things. Uh, this is my first episode, so I'm out here. I'm doing the things with you. I'm, you know, I'm not acting like I have all the answers because I definitely don't. But you know, there's this this story that I absolutely love, um, and I always think of it anytime I start something new because it's so impactful to me. And in this world right now of technology and social media and having access to so many people's uh, attention at so much, you know, so much of the time is this story that, so there was a man and he was walking along the shore of the beach after a really large storm and the entire stretch of coastline, like as far as you could see, there was starfish that were washed up along the shore. Um, and he was going along literally one by one and bending down and picking one up and tossing it back into the ocean and bending down and picking the next one up and tossing it back into the ocean. And as he was doing this, there was, you know, a young, a young kid that came up next to him and was like, hey, like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, I'm just, you know, picking up these starfish. And he's like, well, why would you do that? Like, you're never going to be able to get them all. So what's the point? What you're doing, you know, it really doesn't matter. And so the guy, you know, kind of looks at him, he smiles a little bit, and then he bends down and he picks up another starfish and tosses it into the ocean. And he says, well, you know, it mattered to that one. And so this is the message, you guys. This is the message, is that you do have a voice, you do have an impact, and we never truly see the impact that one little thing we do, you know, like... For all we know, you smile at somebody on the bus and that keeps them from going home and, you know, taking their anger out on their spouse or their child or something like that. And then that turns into something else and then that turns into something else. And, you know, obviously we all know this idea of the butterfly effect and, you know, that's, that's the power that you have when you use your wisdom to serve something other than yourself is you have the ability truly to make a huge difference that we don't even see and can't even conceive of because at the end of the day we are all connected and we do all feel the impacts of every single tiny choice each one of us makes um you know it's it's immense it's <laughs> immense it's massive it's huge so if i can give one piece of wisdom for today it's just go out and do the thing. Let your voice be heard. Sing, laugh, dance. Like just by being you, you bring a beauty and a light to this world that nobody else could. Think about that. Just by being you, you bring something to this world that nobody else here can. So that's pretty amazing, which means you're pretty amazing. So guys, that's all I have for you today. It's a very short, quick, bite-sized thought podcast. And I want to say thank you all for listening, whoever you are out there. And if you like this podcast, please subscribe, share it with other people. That helps us reach new listeners. If you feel the need to donate, you can go to my website, www.serenawillis.com. And I am so appreciative, of course, never expecting, but appreciative of anything that would come in for us. Um, be sure to follow me on Instagram. That is um, at Serena, S-E-R-E-N-A dot Raylene, R-A-L-E-N-E. -E. And that's my Instagram. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. 
maybe next time we will have a true intro and outro but until then just enjoy me saying goodbye goodbye